our focus is on the parts of polygons. So we have this polygon right here named polygon A, B, C, D, E, F. The opposite sides of this polygon are A, B, and C, D, A, B, and E, D, for for this side, it's B, C, E, D, and F, E. Opposite vertices are just that. They're exactly opposite one another. So A is opposite C, D, is opposite A, B and E B and F and diagonals are the line that you can draw across opposite vertices so our first diagonal goes from A to C connecting those vertices our second one goes across the polygon to D and up to E. B and D. B and E. B and F. C and F. C and E. Those are all diagonals of the polygon, which are formed by connecting opposite vertices. Okay, so we have this polygon, and we're going to name it two different ways. So first we're going to go clockwise, and starting with G. We're going to start G, E, D, X, M, A, T, H. Or we can go the other way, starting with G, H, T, A, M, X, D, E. So those are two ways to name that polygon. And you can, you can name a par polygon starting with any point. So I could start with D, or I could start with M, it doesn't matter. So, name two consecutive sides to G, H. And if you go back to our first page, I'll show you what consecutive sides are. These two sides are consecutive sides because they fall right next to another, each other. This one is consecutive sides with this one. Consecutive vertices are the same thing. Where the vertices fall right next to one another. Or, or vertices. Okay, so going back to our example, this side right here, we want two consecutive sides to it. So this side falls next to GH, and this side falls next to GH. So name c two consecutive vertices to O. Sorry, that should be an O. So this one is next to this one, but it's also next to this one.
So now list all op all sides opposite GH. So GH is right here. Opposite sides are sides that fall across from this side. So EO falls opposite it and that actually is the only one that's opposite GH. So for number two we'll just write none. So list all vertices opposite O. So right here well A is opposite O and T is opposite O and M and that's it. So now that we know what the parts of the polygons are, make sure you come back and watch the next lesson where we talk about different kinds of polygons and what their official names are.